Hello students, hello staff, happy Easter. Uh, today we're going to be making a roast butternut squash Thai noodle soup. So really tasty, really filling, very healthy and again only using six ingredients, well seven if you count the oil, but six ingredients, two of them fresh but the other four getting from the store cupboard. Um, we're going to be working with quite a few um, little things. So first of all, um, we're going to be working with butternut squash. Now butternut squash is from the squash family, from like pumpkins, stuff like that. And it's much easier than um, pumpkin to prepare, so that's why I usually um, get a butternut squash. It's just much easier to peel and to cut because pumpkins are so massive, aren't they? And I, personally, I think you get a better flavour um, out of butternut squash. It's really sweet, really lovely. You can use sweet potato instead if you want. Um, or at a push carrots, but really um, I'm going to be roasting it before I add it to the noodle soup um, to bring out the natural sweetness in it. And of course that counts towards your five a day as well. I'm also going to be using basil from my garden as well. So those are the two fresh ingredients. Um, interesting about basil, you know, fresh herb, is there's more than one type of basil. So I'm just using sort of, I would say, normal um, basil, the kind you'd see in Italian recipes, you know, with tomato and stuff like that. In a Thai dish, you'd normally use something called Thai basil, which is similar to Italian basil, but um, slightly darker in colour. The leaves have got a slightly different flavour, slightly more fragrant, slightly more aniseedy, like licorice-y or flavoured almost. But as I couldn't get Thai basil in the supermarket, normally you can get them from, I think you can get them from Waitrose, but um, normally you'd get Thai basil from like an ethnic supermarket, like um, a Chinese shop especially. Um, but I'm just going to be using basil from my garden instead. You can also get Greek basil as well, which as far as I'm concerned tastes exactly the same as normal, but it looks different, it's got little leaves instead. And you can also get purple basil as well, which again, I think tastes the same as normal basil, but it's purple so it looks pretty. Um, I'm also going to be using four different store cupboard um, staples as well and I'm going to go through all the different ingredients and the different prep stages. So this recipe feeds two, um, although it's easily multiplied or sort of divided in half if you're feeding one. And these are all, these are all the ingredients you'll need as well as some water as well. Um, so first of all we've got um, instant noodles. Now this brand, so a lot of you might be used to using super noodles perhaps, but um, Super Noodles is actually a bit more, I know it's cheap, but it's a bit more expensive than some other brands. This is um, Zlotti Noodles, which um, is my favourite form of instant noodles. I suppose as a chef I probably shouldn't have a favourite instant noodle, but there you go. Yeah, so they're chicken flavoured instant noodles, um, they're Polish, and they're just my, my favourite type. But yeah, love absolutely really yummy. So I'm going to use two of those packets because that serves two. I've got a little tin of coconut cream. Um, it's 160ml uh, coconut cream. Um, coconut is used a lot in Thai food to give its major flavouring. Um, I've got some ground coriander, I'm just going to be using half a teaspoon of that just to bring out the spices, spiciness in my dish. Um, I've got half a butternut squash which I peeled and diced. Um, some of the seeds from the butternut squash actually, I've sort of, I took the, I scooped the seeds out and a few of the seeds I planted so hopefully, um, you know, in three or four months I might have some homegrown squash to use. Um, you'll also need half a jar of red Thai curry paste. Now, this is going to be like a medium hot dish. Um, green Thai curry is actually hotter than red, and green chilies are usually hotter than red, which a lot of people don't realise. They think red's the hottest, but actually, usually, it's green that's the hottest. So it's got a sweet but spicy element to it. Um, I've got my fresh basil from my herb garden there, and I've just got some oil as well, so I'll be um, roasting a half butternut squash in oil just with a bit of salt and pepper. Um, you'll also need one 1.25 litres, so that's 1,250 millilitres of water as well, but really easy and I'll go through the steps now. Put your butternut squash on a roasting tin, shake over some salt and pepper um, with one tablespoon of oil and just coat that squash in the, in the oil, salt and pepper like that and then spread it out so it cooks nicely and that's going to go in the oven for half an hour until the squash is all nice and roasted and dark and sweetened. As you can see after half an hour in the oven set at 180 degrees the squash has gone really nice uh, dark orange colour and has sweetened up. Remove that into a bowl and um, get yourself a medium saucepan. To a saucepan add 1250 millilitres 1.25 litres of 
boiling water. Add half a teaspoon of ground coriander. Add your half a jar, which is um, it's 100 grams of red Thai curry paste and your tin of coconut cream. If you can't get, if you can't get coconut cream, um, just use coconut, a tin of coconut milk and just use one litre of water instead. To be honest, that's what I normally do for this recipe, but there are actually no tins of coconut milk in the, um, in the supermarket. So instead, I'm just using coconut cream with a bit more water. So add your water, your ground coriander, your coconut cream and your curry paste into the pan, bring it to the boil. And as soon as it's boiling, boil it for five minutes. Add the butternut squash, the uh, instant noodles, and uh, the seasoning packets that come with the instant noodles as well. And that just needs to cook for five minutes. Add the basil and cook just for one minute longer. It just needs to add flavour. Just before serving, check your seasoning for taste. Good, that's a bit spicy as well. I'm going to add a pinch of sugar to this. If you want to adjust the salt levels, you can add salt, of course, a bit more sugar. Thai curry should be sweet. You can add salt, or if you're going to be authentic Asian, add some soy sauce to monitor the salt levels rather than salt. That's the traditional way. Now, when you're plating this up, you need ideally a really big bowl. So this is a ramen bowl. Ramen is basically like, like this. It's like a Japanese noodle soup because the majority of this is the broth. Because it looks like a lot of food, but a lot of it's just sort of flavour some water in a way. So when you're plating, plating for two, you need to make sure that you both get a nice mixture of noodles and sauce. If you just use a ladle, one of you will get all the sauce and one of you will get all the noodles and that'd be silly. So either with tongs, I shall get rid of the ladle first. Let's move that out of the way. Um, so I'll start off with um, tongs, uh, well, with um, a spaghetti server actually, but there we go. And so I can get a nice big bit of the noodles. This is going to be messy. Well, it's messy one-handed anyway. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Right. Like that. Just move that out of the way. And so we got noodles. And let's let's just get rid of that server. And let's get some nice butternut squash and some nice broth as well. So pour over the broth. I say that is the same and grace of this. There's also, I think, I think it's either Indonesian or Malaysian dish that's similar to this called a laksa, which again is sort of like a curried noodle soup, which is really nice. A lot of Asian countries will have their own sort of noodle soup broth. The um, the Vietnamese have something called a pho, um, which is P-H-O. Some people call it pho, but it's actually pronounced pho. Um, just clean that up a little bit. Along the sides. Make it presentable, although this is for me, it's not in a restaurant. Nice. And just as an optional thing, just because it looks pretty, um, I've chiffonaded, which means finely shredded, some basil, just as a garnish there. There you go. And a voila, Thai red curry noodle soup with roast butternut squash.